Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. I just wanted to make a quick video today on a question we get asked often is, you know, how often should I review my insurance coverage? So I wanted to, you know, make a couple great points of what we recommend. You know, our answer is every year, which is what we do with our clients. And there's a few reasons why we recommend that. Uh, one of the biggest is, you know, the life changes and life events that you go through, whether it's getting married, uh, maybe you have a child turning 16, you know, whatever the case may be, it's good to update your insurance plan and, and make sure that it's um, congruent with where your life's at. You know, as your life changes, you're, you want to make sure your plan protects you in all aspects. So uh, you may ask, what is an insurance review? Uh, an insurance review is, you know, meeting with your agent and going through your current coverages, your policies, seeing if any discounts are applicable to you at that moment, and also answering any questions you may have. Um, you know, we get we see this a lot in our industry where people haven't talked to their insurance agent in two, three plus years or however often it may be. And that's something that we do different is every renewal we, we meet with our clients. And of course, throughout the year as things change as well as, you know, somebody becomes a homeowner and buys a home or vice versa, someone sells their home and starts to rent. You know, the people, our customers will reach out to us and, you know, they need a homeowners or renters and policy at that point. But, you know, there, there are coverages where, you know, you may not think to talk to your insurance agent about first, whereas jewelry for example, most insurance policies only cover up to $1,500. So unless you had a personal articles policy for the exact coverage that your jewelry is worth, you, you may not get the full amount that you're expecting if you lose the ring, if it's stolen, anything like that. So having these conversations with your agent at all times, you know, covers uh, what could go wrong and uh, makes it an easier conversation where if you ever needed to file a claim, you know, you can't do so. Um, a couple other points, you know, there obviously are a lot of great benefits to an insurance review. Uh, it could potentially help you save money where there's discounts all the time that are changing and, and uh, insurance companies are adding. So making sure you're on top of your discounts can help you save money, you know, throughout throughout your time of having insurance. So it's something that customers who don't have insurance reviews, they miss out quite often on discounts that are applicable to them. And if you average that over time, how long you've had insurance, you know, that's a lot of money that you're, you're missing out on. So uh, as we spoke about before, a qualifying event, so, you know, a change in family status or size, whereas say your child turns 16 and starts to drive, or maybe your child is 18 and is going off to college, you know, oh, those are all things to talk to your insurance agent about and uh, make sure that your, your plan protects this uh, child that is away at college or someone that's turning 16, which obviously you, you'll do is you'll add them to your policy. Uh, but once you do add them to your policy, uh, there are discounts that you can add on as well, such a good student discount, um, a student away from college discount, if they're more than 100 miles away, that actually is a discount discount that insurance companies offer. So uh, talk to your agent about that to see if it's applicable for you. Um, a big one as well is retirement and aging milestones. So if you retire, you obviously aren't going to drive as much or maybe you're traveling more so you don't, your vehicles aren't used as much. One of the biggest discounts that insurance companies have to offer is low annual mileage discounts. So what that is, if you drive 7,500 miles or less per year, you qualify for this discount. So you know, adding that to your policy can help you save money, uh, quite a bit of money over time, especially if you look at having two or three plus vehicles. So that's another good one to, to look out for there. So um, other times you may want an insurance review is, you know, if you have high valuable possessions, you get a, a collector's car, or maybe you buy an expensive gun, or you have a gun that was passed down from you from a family member. Uh, these are all good reasons to make sure um, your, your coverage is the right one. So um, again, appreciate you watching. I just wanted to make a quick video on, you know, a question we get asked ask often is, you know, how often should I review my insurance plan? And our answer is every year. So we do that with our clients and I uh, hope, hope this helps. So thanks for watching. Have a great night.